Say it quietly if you want, but Manchester United right now under Jose Mourinho are an entertaining watch, at least in the Premier League. Three wins from losing positions in our last four games. Nine goals scored. Two 90th minute plus winners. There have been plenty of purple patches and false dawns and momentum that's come and gone under Jose Mourinho, but maybe, maybe this one is just a little bit different. I've always said I felt if one club was going to change Jose Mourinho, it would be Manchester United. And what we saw in his post-match press conference after the Bournemouth game was a rare bit of insight from a manager who normally keeps his cards close to his chest, where he went into detail about how he's changing Manchester United's style this season, moving away from his pragmatic defensive style to being something a little bit more open and a little bit more entertaining. Now, if you haven't seen it, here's what Mourinho had to say about his defensive approach last season compared to the approach at United this season. The approach was much more defensive. And with a much more defensive approach, you can hide better your weaknesses. So when the team is really defensive and you have a more defensive mind and you base the work on that, then the team doesn't develop enough in other areas, but the team managed to get some results based on, uh, based on that. Um, I'm trying to find the balance where uh, we develop the team in the second, in the third phase of, of attack, and um, we develop the players, the talented players that we that we have, without losing um, without losing the balance. When we are in control, we have no problems. When the opponent is in in control, I think the team the team has um, has problems. Mourinho was absolutely spot on there with his point about control, because when Man United are in possession, you. As a fan, I'm pretty confident. I think that we're going to create chances. Whether or not we score them is something different altogether. But out of possession, I get the shivers every time Manchester United are in defence, defending. Chris Smalling, Victor Lindelof, you know, they've played okay in the last few games. Luke Shaw's had a pretty damn good season. De Gea's been playing okay, but our defence as a unit, our team as a unit, is shocking defensively. Bournemouth cut through us like a hot knife through butter. Playing very simple football, but executed very well, and United's defence couldn't do anything about it. So I've got zero confidence as a fan in that defence. And I'm not sure Mourinho's got that much more. And that's not something you ever associate with a Jose Mourinho team. I'd probably argue that this defensive setup, what we've got at United right now, is the worst he's ever had as a manager. And maybe that's indeed why last season Mourinho chose to play more defensive to try and not highlight those weaknesses, which we knew were there because De Gea, kept United's clean sheets last year, not our defending. It wasn't that we weren't facing any shots, it was just the fact that he was keeping all the shots out. And as for the balance that Mourinho discusses there, Ander Herrera is your man to bring the balance in that midfield. We saw how much of a game changer he was against Bournemouth. And the reason he was such a game changer is because let's compare Matic and let's compare Herrera. Matic is a defensive midfielder whose priorities 100% of the time are defensively focused. He will pass it sideways or backwards, he will keep possession, he will keep United in possession. Rarely would he ever look forward for a pass or a run unless there's a gaping space that he's going to fill. It's not what he naturally does. Then you take Ander Herrera, who is defensive when he needs to be, but can go forward so much better. And that gives United such a different and less predictable dynamic in midfield. And that's what made the big difference against Bournemouth. You know, he could have scored one or two goals himself, unlucky with the second one that left foot Kolo just round the post. But I've been crying out for it for a while now. You see Romelu Lukaku took a while for Mourinho to drop him. Lukaku's been dropped in the last few games and it's made a massive difference to how United look in attack. Matic has played 90 minutes in every single one of his last 10 United appearances. He's knackered, needs a rest, and he's not good enough at the moment. That's why Matic needs to be left out of the team. And that's why Herrera, for me, made such a difference against Bournemouth. Hopefully now Mourinho has seen the Herrera light. Now, Mourinho admitting that United were more defensive last year, it's not going to come as a shock to any fan because we all saw it. United restricted teams to less shots. And when we didn't, we had David De Gea in goal. So we kept clean sheets galore. But that being said, you know, United were on fire at the start of last season. 
I've just slated Matic there, but remember how good he was at the start of last year, alongside Pogba in a midfield too. And look at United's games at the start of the season. 4-0 against West Ham, 4-0 against Swansea, and a 2-0 win against Leicester. 10 goals, 3 clean sheets in United's first 3 Premier League games. That was an incredible start to the year. And then if you look at United's opening 11 games of the last season compared to this year, it shows a startling difference as well. Last year we scored 32 goals, we had 8 clean sheets, we had only conceded 4 goals. This year, we've only scored 18 goals in our opening 11 games. We've only got 3 clean sheets and we've conceded 17 goals. Nearly as many as we have scored. United are not the defensive unit we were last year, but in attack, We've got more than just Romelu Lukaku, and that's making the big difference. Martial's looking dangerous. Pogba really is looking more dangerous in attack this year than he certainly did last year, where he felt, well, it seemed like he was more defensively restricted. Jesse Lingard, when he comes in, plays well. Alexis Sanchez coming up with an assist against Bournemouth. United was so heavily reliant on Lukaku last year that our style of play had to try and get the most out of him. And that doesn't get the best out of Rashford or Martial or Pogba, or Lingard, or Sanchez. This style that we're playing now gets the best out of the majority of them. And unfortunately for Lukaku, it means that he's gone to the bench. So while we might be scoring less goals in comparison to last year, the actual attacking threat of United is infinitely more because of it. As you can see there though, United are conceding a hell of a lot more goals. United don't have as many clean sheets, but it's the entertainment factor that we're seeing right now at Manchester United that's going to get so many more fans on side with Jose Mourinho. Had Rashford not scored that winner against Bournemouth, it would have been a bad result. But it wouldn't have been abhorrent. And that's because United attacked and attacked and attacked and kept knocking on the door until eventually we got that winner. But fans would have forgiven Mourinho had that draw happened because we were creating so many chances. Rashford absolutely missing an open goal. Herrera had a couple of chances. United had more than one opportunity to win that game. And that's what you want to see from United. In the last 15 minutes of games, you want to see them throwing everything at the win. You'd rather lose 2-1 or 3-1 than get a draw. Fans would have forgiven Mourinho if United drew against Bournemouth because we had so many opportunities. And no matter how many chances United missed against Bournemouth, I had the confidence that United were going to get that winning goal and ultimately we did with Marcus Rashford scoring it in the 92nd minute. That United were going to find the back of the net by throwing everything at Bournemouth for the last 15 minutes. And that mentality is United. That's what made United so hard to play under Fergie because teams knew that a one or two goal lead was never safe It going into the last 15 minutes against Manchester United. And that mentality, that United is something that Mourinho also touched upon in his post-match press conference. But it's fantastic to have this feeling of uh, it doesn't matter the result, we know that the game is not over. It doesn't matter how many minutes to the end of the game, we, we have the feeling of, um, of anything can happen. And even missing chances like we did in the second half, chance after chance after chance, they keep going until, until the end. And that, that, I think, is a fantastic quality for a team. Just take a look at Manchester United's results this season and last season because we have come from behind to win or draw on so many occasions. This season, Bournemouth 1-0 down, 2-1 winners with a 92nd minute winner from Rashford. Chelsea away 1-0 down, 2-all draw, unfortunately because of that late equaliser from Chelsea. Newcastle United 2-0 down, we win 3-2 with a 91st minute winner from Alexis Sanchez. Three out of our last four games We've come from behind to get a result. That mentality cannot be underestimated. And it's not just a flash in the pan, because if you look at the last season as well, so many occasions where United did exactly that too. Arsenal 1-1, we win 2-1, 92nd minute winner from Fellaini. Spurs at home, 1-0 down, we win 2-1. Man City away, we're 2-0 down. In the game where Man City are going to win the league against United, we win 3-2. Palace away, 2-0 down. We win 3-2. 91st minute winner from Nemanja Matic. Chelsea at home, 1-0 down, 2-1 win. Burnley, 2-0 down, 2-0 draw. CSK in Moscow, 1-0 down, 2-1 win. Newcastle at home, a 1-0 down to a 4-1 win. And Spurs at home, a 1-0 win with an 81st minute winner 
from Martial. I've just picked out, what, 10 examples there of United coming from behind to get a result from a game. And more than anything, that's what's exciting me most about what I've seen in the last four games from Mourinho, when the pressure was really on and what we've seen so often last season. Never giving up and never backing down has always been United's way. It's what made us such a hard team to play. And getting that habit back is crucial if we really are going to try and climb our way back up the Premier League table and try and challenge this runaway Man City team with winning the Premier League. Now, United have shown a lot of grit in the last few games in the league. It would be nice if we showed that in the Champions League as well. We've been put in the Champions League, but luckily in the league, we seem to be finding our feet. But will it continue? That's the real question that United fans are going to be asking because we have seen purple patches before, but ultimately nothing really happened because it went back, reverted to style. But will United continue to attack in the same style that we are seeing at the moment? And how does Mourinho actually want his teams to attack? Now again, he offered rare insight into this, into how he wants to set up his United team to attack. This is what he had to say. The way I, I like to play the way I like to play is with three attacking players where there is not a clear definition of the winger as a winger. And I like that the winger is somebody with a striker of formation or with a striker appetite. And I, I always had that in my team with the winger scoring a lot of goals, sometimes even more goals than the, than the, than the striker. So it's not impossible at all to have in the same team at the same time Rashford, Lukaku, uh, Alexis, for, uh, for example. Um. Now, it's really interesting to hear Mourinho explain how he wants his attacking team to set up with a striker and two wingers who he wants to cut inside. And you see, that maybe explains why Marcus Rashford has played on the wing so much. It would also explain why he was so desperate to sign Ivan Perisic as well. Although Perisic, again, he's got the ability to go outside and inside, which makes him a tougher winger. I think the question mark it asks for me there is why the Martial situation wasn't resolved sooner, because as we've seen in the last five games, that's exactly what Martial does. He was a striker in the start at Louis van Gaal, scored 17 goals in his first year. This year, he's on the left wing and he's cutting inside and he's dangerous, but he's got a natural finish on him. And that's what makes him such a dangerous winger when cutting inside. I think that might be why Rashford's struggling on the right-hand side because he's not cutting in on his natural foot. But anyway, it's interesting to hear Mourinho speak so openly about how he's changing his defensive mindset, how he wants his United teams to attack, and really focusing on how important that winning mentality is to come from behind. There's just a lot of positives from the football this weekend that we need to talk about. Now, as for Mourinho itself, it's really refreshing to hear how he started to change his approach at Man United. Before United played Chelsea, I said I felt Mourinho had six games left. Up until Man City away, it felt like Mourinho had six games to show me and to show United fans that he was willing to change, that the players were willing to play for him and that the performances would start to improve because with the wrong results and the wrong performances, after Man City away, you could easily see Mourinho being sacked. But with the right results and the right performances, things could change. And I've liked what I've seen so far since we played Chelsea, in the league anyway. Chelsea away, Newcastle at home, Everton at home, Bournemouth away. Four excellent results for Manchester United and four not complete performances, 2-0 down against Newcastle at home. But we turned it around and that's what matters most. There's been so much negativity surrounding United for a long time now. So when there is something good to talk about, I don't think you should ignore it. And Mourinho right now is showing signs and the players are showing the signs with the performances as well right up to the last minute that maybe, maybe things are turning around for Mourinho at United. 